All right, good morning. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. This is Pierre Lambert of DeepDishFootball.com and DeepDishFootball uh, USA on Twitter. Uh, make sure you follow Coach McPete and DeepDishFootball on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, also, my email is FP at gmail.com if you have any questions. Also, a uh, quick reminder, first week of football, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m., Deep Dish Football Live, so, uh, Saturday morning, 9 a.m., is breakfast with Coach Big P going over scores, awards, and everything else to get you set for the next week for week two. So just a quick reminder, Deep Dish Football Live Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Breakfast with Coach Big Pete Saturday, always said ever during the season at 9 a.m. So let's get into another conference preview, shall we? Uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a tough one. Um, just a quick reminder, previews, predictions, they all mean crap. What is up is down, and what is down is up every different year. Uh, something changes in high school football. That's why you got to love it because of the parity of the game. Anything can happen. Some teams can come out of the clear blue and have great seasons. And all it just takes is a group of kids to believe in their coach, and it works wonders. So let's get into the upstate eight. Now, I have one top dog team, and this is, this is a major gamble, but I'm going to say it. I have Bartlett as my top dog team. I really liked it. I really like Bartlett. Um, good offense, good defense, good passing game. Uh, Elka Palila, uh, uh, one of the top uh, top guys, definitely could keep an eye out for. Solid group of linebackers, linebackers that are coming back. Good secondary and an underrated defensive line. Two si and they have two sizable targets. They have two, two sizable targets on that wide receiving core for Bartlett. Now, my three challengers. Glenbard Self, um, great quarterback in Plazo, uh, who who's going to be one of the top quarterbacks in the conference, one of the top players, definitely a kid you got to keep an eye out for. Good wide receiving corner at end. Uh, Coach Chrissy, again, he's doing wonders with that program. Um, keeping a very close eye uh, out for that secondary of Glenbard Self and also their linebackers as well. They also have um, a good rush end at two at Murphy, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, I didn't get that wrong. I'll have to check. Um, uh, I also have, as one of my challenging teams, too, Self Elgin. I like Self Elgin. Uh, Marquis Galipsy uh, transfers, big big target. Devon Sherwin, another big player for them as well. But Self Elgin looks great. Um, good group of athletic players. Um, tough season, but I think this is going to be a surprise season. I think self I think sorry, I think self is gonna challenge this season. I'm thinking about the other team. Sorry about that. But self elgin looks good. My surprise team now. My surprise team is Elgin. Um I really like Lomax, Xavier Bonds. I think Elgin's gonna shake some heads uh, shake some heads. Um they're gonna move some heads basically this fall. I really like Elgin. I think they're gonna be a surprise team. Two teams look out for the future. Fenton, they just joined the conference. I think it's they're going undergoing a great transformation of the, the coaching staff. Uh, the second second year is doing a great job. Uh, second team that I have is uh, East Aurora uh, coach. Uh, I forget his last name. Who coach? <laughs> I probably I, I probably messed it up. Uh, but he's doing a wonderful job, um, and he's got that team believing. He's building a program. Definitely two teams to keep an eye out for. In East Aurora and Fenton, as I talked about it last season, uh, with uh, East Aurora, but two good, two coaching hires a couple of years back, but great, great job, as those programs are a building. Now, <clears throat> for me, and uh, uh, is one I also forgot the other challenger too, Glenbard East, uh, Glenbard East, graduated a lot of talented back a shockey. They're gone now. Uh, they got a guy, uh, Ben, the quarterback, who was pretty good. Uh, good, solid group of wide receivers, defensive ends. Uh, offensive line, solid. Um, really, I think the game is going to be more focused, focused on their defensive line, their defensive line, their ability to stop the run and get some rush on the passer uh, this season. I think that's going to be huge for Glenbard East, as it is. But they had a great season last season. Um, as Coach Waters was the deep dish football coach of the year for 2018. So, let's talk a little bit more about the teams. Uh, Marquise Galepsi, self Algin, great, uh, great uh, transfer for them. Uh, hell of a player. Uh, he is definitely going to shake some heads. 
Donovan, uh, Donovan Sherwin, a uh, hell of a wide receiver, too. Another play to keep an eye out for. Uh, Marshall. Um, there's another player from Elgin I'm forgetting. Anthony. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. The notes are a little bit off task. I do apologize for that. Elgin, uh, Tyler Lomax, class of 2021, uh, quarterback athlete. Definitely get to keep an eye out for. Xavier Bonds, he's everything. He's Mr. Everything. He can do it all. He is definitely a huge playmaker for Elgin. Uh, Fabian Gonzalez, the little player to keep an eye out for as well. Uh, but my big player is Jeffrey Lomax. I think Jeffrey Lomax is going to have a terrific season. I I consider him a top recruit in the state of Illinois. Definitely a kid that you want to keep an eye out for as well. Low Griffin, too, from Elgin, too. Um, for Bartlett, I talked about Palea. They got a, they got two, they got a bunch of multi-sport athletes, which is key, especially uh, for them. A good young quarterback, uh, Parimi. Hopefully, I get that name correct. Hopefully, I didn't, I didn't get two quarterbacks wrong. Um, but uh, Sailors running back, uh, they graduated uh, their top linebacker from last season. He's gone. But again, I have Bartlett. They have great size. They have, they have two good pass rushers. They have a great offensive line. It's remarkable, just absolutely remarkable about Bartlett. Now, the main thing is that they didn't lose their quarterback who graduated and they went to Eastern Illinois. But again, Bartlett is set. And I really think this team's going to do something. I They have a great chance. And I don't know if people are going to say, you're sleeping on me, don't hate, all the other stuff. But I have a really good feeling that Bartlett could go 9-0 this season. I really do. But it's going to be tough. Again, they're going against some tough teams. And I'm really looking forward towards that Bartlett uh, versus Glenbart self game. That's going to be a good game. Um, talking about some of the other teams, West Chicago, uh, it's going to be another tough year for West Chicago. Just too many talented teams that they are playing. Um, I think it's going to be a tough year. Uh, see what they build towards towards next year and that. Um, Fenton, it's going to be tough. New conference and that. And they're going against a lot a lot more competitive teams than they did last year. That's for sure with Fenton. Um, personally, um, just thinking about some of the other teams, uh, just talking about the other teams. Um, West Chicago, not, not West Chicago, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Um, Larkin. Larkin, great athletic bunch. Um, impressed with their wide receivers and some of their cornerbacks. But the main question is going to be their line, their size up front. Um, that's a little bit of scary for Larkin this uh, this season. They've had uh, they have a new coach. <laughs> they had an original new coach who moved to Lake Zurich, but I think it's going to be another tough season for Larkin. Um, Streamwood for me, Streamwood to me is a very interesting team. Um, they have one good lineman, uh, a really talented lineman. Uh, I'm trying to find his name. Uh, they've got good, I'm trying, I can't find his name, I do apologize, uh, good offensive, uh, uh, good, good group of linebackers, uh, TJ Fan, another linebacker to look out for, uh, Angel Acosta, another kid to look out for as well, uh, I'm forgetting one more player, today. it's a wide receiver running back that, that Streamwood has, that's another player to look out for as well, again, it's going to be a little bit of a tough year for Streamwood, uh, another team like a West Chicago, and that, again, they're facing a little more talented teams, as usual, uh, as Streamwood has faced them last season, too. Um, but again, my surprise team is Elgin. I think they're going to do good this year. My three challengers, South Elgin, Glenbart South, Glenbart East. My top dog team is uh, Bartlett, and I really think Bartlett's going to do good this season. Uh, but again, like I said, predictions, reviews mean nothing. You have to play the game. That's what the beautiful part about football is. Anything can happen at Barland, and these three teams could rise up, or Streamwood could rise up, or West Chicago could rise up. Simple as that. This is high school football. There is no, um, there is no clear winners in the first week or two first two weeks. Anything can happen, and that's why you gotta love high school football. It's all parity. Uh, but definitely, this is a conference. I'd say three to four teams you could see into the playoffs. Um, I see Bartlett making making a challenge. I see for some reason. I'm going to say this right now. In the back of my head, Glenbard self, Glenbard self. In the back of my head, 
is going to do some serious damage. Some really serious damage in the playoffs if they get into the playoffs. That's a team to just keep an eye out for as well. But thank you so much. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpete, fphemail.com if you have any questions. Also, if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip via PayPal. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video and also in the bottom of the article. Thank you so much. Good luck to everyone this year. Hopefully I can catch the game for Deep Dish Football Game of the Week.